What happens if someone steals your music and then uploads it to streaming services as their own? Well, the process of getting your stolen music taken down and dealing with all of the legal ramifications can take up a lot of time, cause a lot of stress and in some instances cost a lot of money. In this video, I'll show you how to block shady characters from being able to upload your music in the first place. I'm no stranger to copyright ID systems, YouTube's content ID in particular. And there is nothing worse than some random internet chancer trying to claim that a song or part of a song or part of your video contains music that belongs to them. Or the unscrupulous types that will even re-upload a full video or track and claim it as their own. And this kind of stuff happens more often than you think, not just on YouTube, but actually on streaming services too. On TikTok, for example, you'll often see slowed down or sped up versions of music used under videos without the consent of the original artist. Sometimes those remixes end up on Spotify or Apple Music, gain loads of streams and that original artist won't see a penny of it. It sucks. There is a system to prevent stuff like this happening called DistroLock. As the name suggests, this is a system created by my recommended music distributor and the sponsor of this video, DistroKid. If you're unfamiliar with DistroKid, they make it really easy to get your music onto all major streaming platforms collect streaming royalties for you and pay out that income every month. And they do it at a price that independent artists can afford. One yearly flat fee and you can release as much music as you want. It's mental. You can save 7% on any yearly plan with DistroKid by joining them via my unique discount link. You'll find that down in the description below or on screen right now. Alright, so what DistroLock essentially does is stop people being able to upload your music to other streaming platforms. When you upload music to DistroLock, it creates what they call an acoustic fingerprint, so essentially a unique ID for that particular piece of audio, similar to the way YouTube content ID works. What's special about this is that it's able to match audio even when distorted or degraded, and more importantly, if it's been slowed down or sped up. DistroLock integrates with the Audible Magic service, which is then able to cross-reference any of their audio on any of the platforms they use. Audible Magic is a company that provides content identification services to social networks, record labels, music publishers, television studios, and movie studios. DistroLock is able to register that acoustic fingerprint if it's uploaded anywhere else, also, such as YouTube, Twitch, Apple Music, Spotify, or pretty much every other streaming service under the sun. An important point to make here is that once that acoustic fingerprint is created for your track, the audio from that track itself is deleted from DistroLock's servers. Just a wee extra piece of mind for you there. So this is how it works. You can upload your music for free if you're already distributing music with DistroKid. From your DistroKid homepage, go to the main menu, then go down to protect your music. At the distro lock screen, hit free sign up, and because you're already logged into your DistroKid account, you'll be taken directly to the Add a New Track screen. So on the Add New Track screen, click on the button, and you'll want to keep the distro lock and Audible Magic options ticked. Next, you want to choose a file, and then you'll want to enter your artist and song title information. That is optional. Don't worry too much about it if you don't want to enter that info. Probably a good idea though. And then click that you have read and agree with the terms of the DistroLock Terms of Service and DistroKid Terms of Service. Of course you have. And then click Submit. That will then be uploaded. The acoustic fingerprint will be created for it also 
while that is going on. So it's not instantaneous, you can see the name of the track that I've uploaded there, the date and time it was added, and the current status. Obviously, this might take a wee while for that to completely process through. So now that that track's uploaded, if anybody was to duplicate it or steal it, and then try to upload it to any of the services like we've talked about today, like YouTube or Apple Music or anything like that, they will automatically be blocked from doing so, and it won't even be able to reach these streaming services. Very, very handy. And it really is as simple as that. That's all you need to do to upload your music to DistroLock, protect yourself, and protect your music. Let me know your thoughts on DistroLock down below, and if you want to get involved with DistroKid, make sure and use the special discount link in the description below this video to save yourself some pennies. It's worth noting that you don't even need a computer to upload music to streaming services nowadays. You can do it all from one of these. To find out how, watch this next.